Oh, what am I doing? What every photographer loves the most, uh, looking at their old photos. We're doing it. So I think one of the things that photographers hate the most is looking back at their old artwork. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, going back like two weeks to a shoot that I did, I'm like, I would have done this differently and I would have done this differently, didn't like this, blah, blah, blah. And I know we're always our own biggest critics, but um, that's important, I think. You know, how else are we gonna grow? So. We're gonna take a look here at uh, some of my old photos and uh, we'll see if any were good. These are some recent ones and I had to pull this one up because the uh, caption still gives me a little chuckle. <laughs> These clouds make me wheat. <laughs> good one, Josh. We're going way back, way back. So we're gonna, we're gonna scroll all the way here. And keep in mind too, this is this is the archive, you know. This is, this is all the hidden stuff, all the juicy goss, all the tea. There's a lot. This is, this is like five or six years of stuff here that was just oh, was so bad. Three hours later. Okay, well we're at uh, we're at the beginning here, um, so let's let's see what we got. Uh, most of these were phone photos here at the at the start. Here's uh, Yosemite. Park in uh, California, IA. and um, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Uh, not, nothing to write home about. There's nothing that I hate about this photo. It's just a what of what? What are we looking at? The edit is standard, you know? The colors are there. And um, I took the photo. So that's it. I've got the Grand Canyon. Everyone's favorite. You can tell I did a road trip and then posted a bunch about it, uh, which is fun. Oh, this one's actually not bad. This is a little more contrasty than some of the things I've done before. And what a caption. Pictures from the Grand Canyon today. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Now, posting to Instagram because I knew everyone wanted to steal all my photos, I had to add my watermark in there just so everyone knew that it was me that took this amazing picture of this uh, like entry level convertible that we rented. Again, same thing. I, I do actually like this photo of the Golden Gate Bridge, but um, again, with the watermark, like who's someone's taking this photo off Instagram and they're gonna print it at like, no, not, not at that resolution, man. Don't check, don't check my photo, please. Okay, yeah, went to Ottawa. Um, just, just bright, v bright. I mean, this one's cute. There's actually a subject in this one finally, so learning something. It's like a baby kitten. He's like a week old, so cute. This is my brother, he's a model. Uh, very yellow and blue. I don't know what was going on here with the edit, but... Uh, these photos aren't like far enough back for me to be like, wow, so much has changed since then. Like I've learned a lot and I've practiced, but like I've, it feels like this is like 20 years ago, but it was like five years ago. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh. Getting artsy with this ND filter that I just purchased. <laughs> this is this is the era of Josh trying to find himself. You know, I think every like 20s person just goes through this where it's like, what do I want to be? I like this photo on its own. It's just like, is this a, a Josh Ford? Like, does this photo match like this photo? Like, no, not really. Or like this photo? Holy teal. This is. Uh, that's a lot, guys. And then this photo, like, none of these are bad photos, right? They don't look like they belong together, you know? Like, we got this one, which is like, you just take the green slider and then put it all the way up um, to the top. And then we got this one, where it's like, does the sky look like that? 
Maybe. I've never been outside. Editing just gets me. <laughs> oh, it's Trana. Real ones would know how to pronounce that properly. Trana. I did festival photography for a while, and uh, yeah, that was a uh, that was a time. Jo What's up with the teal, man? What are we doing? The sky is is teal. The sky's teal. <laughs> It's so teal. And you know, you recycle the old photos on the gram every now and again. You just edit stuff and you get this nice, like, crisp white halo when you bring up the shadows all the way. It's just not, it's not the vibe. Some of these photos, I think the photos that turned out like, you know, kind of cool with the edit or with the shot and stuff, like when you're just starting out, uh, well, when I was starting out, there was just a lot of like accidents that ended up being good. So like, yeah, I mean, I, I like the edit on this. Obviously I framed it, but like, oh man, I didn't know what I was doing with the lighting and stuff. I just was lucky enough to have had the person in shade and like, it just, it just worked, you know? Yeah, again, same kind of thing. Like if the sun was out, this photo would have been terrible, but it was cloudy. So like, I, I just got lucky with the tones and that's it. What's the, what, what is this? What is this? What, what is, what's the, what are we taking pictures of here? You know, what, are, what am I doing? What am I doing? You have to take a lot of, a lot of shots that are not good. Here's a park bench guys. You two could sit here, <laughs> warm those buns. Look, more teal. Okay, okay. We're getting some astrophotography here. I used to really enjoy going out. I've never been outside. That's more teal. You thought we were done with the, you thought we were past, you thought Josh had grown as a photographer, but you'd be wrong. It took a while and uh, I'm still working through the, the trauma of the teal phase. Oh yeah, I went and re-edited the Ottawa photos and then just made them teal. Hope you like teal. Oh, that'd be such a cool shot if it wasn't teal. Oh, that's kind of cool. Patterns in the ice. The most like lazy captions, you know. I just, I just put insert Breaking Bad blue reference. I didn't even, Put in the research a reference. Like why why would someone be interested in this photo? Ah, uh, I don't know what's I don't know what's going on here. Do you know what me and my brother like to do as a bit? We usually like to <laughs> give a big smile, <laughs> a laugh, and then just bring it to nothing. We're getting a, a little less teal here. We're getting we're getting away from it. And that that's kind of good to see. Um, I, I think really I, when I moved to BC like four years ago, it's like all right, I'm starting to figure out like some more neutral editing, trying to accent, you know, what the actual photo is picturing as the subject. Oh my God, it's so over edited. Oh, oh this is a nice, that's pretty nice. The, the style, like if I just pause it right here, the style is like kind of all over the place. Like you look at the grid and it's like none of these, together really say, hey, what's like, what does a Josh Ford photo want to be? What, what, is, what is my thing? What's the style? The teal, the teal, stop it. I posted this one like a year ago and like, I just, I just don't like it. But you know what? That's fine, right? Right, tell me, validate me. It's painful, guys. It's painful. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like looking back. I, I don't, I don't like it. Honestly, I'll go through old photos from time to time and I'll re-edit certain ones that I actually like really enjoy how they looked, um, but not how they're edited maybe. And uh, I find it pretty useful. And um, I think it's the only way that we can grow as artists, right? Like if you never go through old photos and see what you didn't like and see what you could have done better and see what you want to change for next time, how are you ever going to grow, right? If we just like don't reflect on these things, 
And don't look to other photographers who do things, you know, better than the way that we do them, or maybe even just differently than the way that we do them, then we're never gonna grow. We're just gonna stay stuck in the same style, in the same everything is teal phase of photography. And it's just a phase. We, we get through it, we grow, and um, it, it gets better. We all pass the teal phase, I promise. You know, some, some people just start out uh, naturally gifted and are really good at photography. That was not my journey on uh, becoming a full-time photographer, but um, we're here now after years of just trying to figure it out and watching 8,000 hours of YouTube uh, videos. But we, we made it, and, and you know, I'm very thankful for where I am. But um, yeah, do you guys ever look back at your old work? Do you hate it as much as I do? I like it on my own, but when I have to show people, it's like, nope, I would, I would rather pass away. Thank you. All right, well, it's been a slice, guys. Until next time. I, th is that... You probably can't, so that's probably disrespectful for like army people, right? Oh, sorry.